God bless you. Amen. 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 We're going to have you come in the middle here and Amen. talk into the mic. Amen. I want to we welcome you this Amen. evening to uh, Atlanta Live, blessing us with music, Robert Weaver and the Weaver Chorale. Amen. Um, talk to us about who you are and uh, what I'm God is doing. I'm a young man and, and love God. Amen. Amen. Born and raised in the inner city of Oakland, California. Amen. And the Lord sent me to Atlanta, Georgia, 2003. Okay. And organized the Atlanta chapter of the Weaver Chorale in 2005. And I'm um, getting ready to release our third project on, in August. Okay. Amen. Amen. So God's hey. had you busy. Yes. Yeah, that's what it is when, yeah. you, when you decide that you're going to sell out to him. It's not always easy. But as he was talking about unlocking your heart, and I'm sure you've had to do that in okay. order for you to be able to minister effectively. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So talk to us about your project and, 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 and what you're wanting God to do. And we honor the Lord for the Weaver career. Yes. Amen. 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 God's doing something um, definitely different with this new project than this one. Um, these songs that the Lord get, gave me, they're basically our testimony. Okay. And um, these group of young people behind me basically suffered and went through the same things that I went through. Amen. And God has changed us and he's delivered us. And and this next project is just a project of hope and deliverance. And we just want to let the people know that God is our everything. Amen. And if you give all your problems to the Lord, yes. he will and can work them out. Now, I heard, a, I, heard a, I heard an old song say, take your burdens to the Lord. Yes. And leave and them leave there. Them there. Yes, okay. sir. So that means when you take them to him in order for him to work them, you can't take them back. You can't take and them back. And try to work them yourself. Amen. You'll mess it all up. Oh, my God. And we do that from time to yes. time, don't we? Yes. Yes, sir. You know, I, I, I'm... I'm excited about what God is doing with your ministry, and uh, I, I love how you flow and how your chorale is just seeking God through worship. Mm -hmm. And when you minister, you know, um, what is it like once you get your songs together and then bringing them to, to the chorale, or do the chorale also say, hey, you know, I have some, something new, try to put this together. No, it don't quite work. I figured as much. <laughs> <laughs> this no. is what we're going to sing. <laughs> Basically, you know, I um, have prayer time with the Lord. Amen. And, Amen. Um, and God, you know, birthed these songs to me in my prayer time. Amen. And um, I, you know, introduced it to the choir. And they don't know how to act sometimes. I'm like, let me teach the song right, first. Right. <laughs> I'll get through the first line and they want to cry and snot it all. <laughs> but, um... You know, God gives it to me in, in those quiet moments. Amen, amen. Amen. And we go back to this, uh, back to being in God's presence. Mm -hmm. It's how he's able to cause you to be more skillful, skillful in your craft. Mm -hmm. um, do you think practice is important or do you just flow off the, you just think just flowing off the anointing is all it takes? No, you got the practice. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got the study to show yourself a That's approved. okay. Yeah, all right. Now, yeah. you're you going where I'm going. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah we can't just uh, expect God to hand us everything on the plate. He gives you the gift. You have to refine it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Now, how long have you been singing together as a group? Um, 13 years. Wow. We're celebrating 13 years. Now, the Atlanta chapter. Well, it's, it's one ministry, but in two locations. Right. Amen. Amen. All right, now that's a uh, that's something right there, the music ministry. I know the pastor yeah. had a one church in five locations, <laughs> but we got the choir, in one ministry in two locations. Yes. All right, Very it's active. going international. Yes, man. Amen. Yes, man. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Worldwide. Amen. Worldwide. Yeah. Internationally yes, international. known. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Amen. That's wonderful. Young people. Yes, that's, young that's good. Young people uh, coming together to serve. God, and what do you want your ministry to do for others? I just wanted to inspire other young men and other young women to um, give your heart to the Lord. It doesn't matter how young you are or how old you are. You can still be saved in this day of time, mm -hmm. and you can still um, be, be, be you. You know, back in the days, we had to be what our grandparents wanted us to be. Mm -hmm. But um, in this day of season, we can still be us and still live a saved life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You still live a saved life. You look wonderful. Let me just put yes. that out there. You all look wonderful. I have to have a think about that. But you guys look wonderful. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But you said that um, you can still be young and you can still serve God. Hmm. Do you think we have a hard time with that right now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, honestly, I struggled with it for, for many, many years. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, once you go through so many things and, 
and your back is a face, you know, against the wall. Mm -hmm. And I've learned you don't have to be older to go through a lot. You can go through a lot of things as being a young man or a young woman. Mm -hmm. And once your back is against the wall and you have no other choice but to turn to God, mm -hmm. you have to surrender. And you're in the yes. place that he wants you. You're, you're right the, where he wants you're right at that time. You're right where you want you. You can mm -hmm. be 12. Mm -hmm. Or 35, it, right. it, does, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we beat ourselves up, you know, in the head so many times. And we're, you know, you're thinking, why does it take to where our back's up, up against a wall mm -hmm. when we turn to Christ? Mm -hmm. Instead of just going to him right when he first comes to us. And mm -hmm. we, we wouldn't be hitting those brick walls again. That's mm -hmm. true. But he's the same when he offered himself to you mm -hmm. as when you hit that brick wall. Mm -hmm. yeah. 20, 30 years later, he still <laughs> there waiting he's still for there. you. still yeah. there. And it's just amazing how he, he, he does what he does. Yeah. And uh, what, now you say in two locations, I'm, I'm familiar with Oakland very much. Mm -hmm. And uh, so how do you minister in, in the two locations? Um, is it different? Is the areas different? Or, you know, because Oakland may be different from Atlanta as far as ministering and, and bringing the, God, the word of God. How do you deal with that? Um, it, I mean, it is different um, because it's two different cults, mm -hmm. but the word is still the same. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I Good. understand. Right. That's what I was, you know, we were trying to, to go there. Being, uh, my brother's from Oakland, so okay. I've been out there a lot and, and, and know the area quite well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've noticed a difference. Yeah. I noticed a difference. That's why I had asked it's that a question. Big difference. Yeah. Very much so. <laughs> yes. I, I want to know how you came with Hold Me Close. Actually, I didn't write the song. There's a guy by the name of Kevin Stansel um, out of Nashville. And um, we were just sitting around, and I was listening to some of his music. Mm -hmm. And um, the song just pierced me in my heart, mm -hmm. you know, because of um, I'm a young man where I lost my mother and my father mm -hmm. all in the same year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a year after that, my brother was murdered. Mm -hmm. So I had to identify his body and, and, and get him prepared or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was just in a place where I needed God just to hold me close to mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. And at Amen. that particular time, that song, I was like, I mm -hmm. need this. Mm -hmm. I need this. You know, this is ministering to me. Mm -hmm. And I know that, you know, it would definitely minister to somebody else. Mm -hmm. I, I'm glad you said that because, you know, one of the things that really bothers me is when you have a <laughs> minister that can't be ministered to. Amen. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. the behind the pulpit and in music. Yes. If you can't be ministered to, then something is uh, a little not right there. Yes. So, you know, to hear you say that you needed to be ministered to yes. lets me know that you have not arrived yes. and that God still has some things that he has to teach you yes. and that God still has some things that he wants to blow your mind with. Yes. Amen. Robert Weaver and the Weaver yes. Corral. Oh, my God, you've really been blessing us tonight. Thank we you. really enjoyed you. You all sound wonderful. Amen. Sounds like about 100 people up here. <laughs> but you sound good. And we're, we're grateful to God for that. Um, tell the people how they can find out more about you. You can find out about us on Facebook.com forward slash Robert Weaver, or you can go to robertweaver.org. Wow. Amen. All right. Well, we're glad that you decided to come out and worship the Lord with us on tonight. We certainly do appreciate it. And right now, we're going to take you to the heartbeat again of Atlanta Live, and that's to the prayer.